Eheng is a high-tech company based in China. They are a leader in the autonomous aerial vehicle AAV industry. Their mission is to make safe, autonomous, and eco-friendly air mobility accessible to everyone. The company is growing and expanding their business. In today's video, we bring you report on the plans of the company as they look to step out of their home country. Before we get into all that though, here's a quick reminder to like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Also remember to drop your comments below as we always like to hear from you. Back to eHang, the company that wants to give you tools to fly in a smart way. Their products can be deployed as airborne vehicles for passenger transportation, aerial sightseeing, logistics, medical aid, among other applications. eHang is also focused on environmental sustainability. This is why they are all in on electric AAVs. Their flagship product is the eHang AAV, a futuristic-looking but very real electric passenger-grade airborne vehicle that is in the works. For this video, a small disclaimer is necessary as what you see on the screen may not accurately represent the finished product. eHang may make adjustments as they work towards the final product. It is a smart, connected, low-altitude flying machine meant for city movement. As an autonomous vehicle, a passenger can just sit and enjoy the changing view from high up there without having to control the aircraft. The vehicle, however, communicates with the remote command center in real time. The aircraft will work out the shortest route to your destination, which you will input through a 12-inch display. There is no need to fear for your safety, as the carrier is designed to land in the nearest possible location in the event of a malfunction of any component. The eHang AAV is very convenient to operate as it does not require lengthy runways nor other airport amenities. It is capable of vertical takeoff and landing, making it ideal for use in urban air mobility UAM, in city centers with limited open spaces. As an electric vehicle, it uses a battery that can be charged on 220 volts or 380 volts power supply. It charges to 100% under one hour using the fastest charger. Flights will last a maximum of 21 minutes on a single charge and will reach top speeds of 130 km per hour. The aircraft is expected to cost somewhere between $200,000 and $300,000. It is expected to find much use as an air taxi and in the tourist industry with room for two riders. While based in China, eHang is already eyeing expansion abroad to bring its electric aircraft to more countries. Among the first stops is Italy, where it is partnering with Italian architect firm Giancarlo Zema Design Group to design what is called a Vertiport. This was announced on the company's official Twitter page. eHang is using this as an entry into the European market at large where it wants to deploy its eHang 216 air taxis for both ecotourism and urban air mobility uses. By the way, a vertiport is a raised platform where aircrafts like the ones designed by eHang will take off and land vertically, similar to a helipad that is clear off the ground. eHang is taking inspiration for the design of the vertiport from the African baobab tree. It will rise to 30 meters and will be built from steel and wood. Each vertiport will be able to handle three AAVs at a time, as can be seen on the screen right now. This is a computer-generated image released by eHang to conceptualize its design. As an environmentally conscious company, eHang will build its vertiports from sustainable materials. They will also be disconnected from the power grid as they will generate their own energy using solar panels that will produce more than 300 kilowatts of power daily enough to charge the eHang AAVs. The vertiports will do more than just host takeoffs and landings, as there are plans to include a waiting room, cafe, and an open-air restaurant in the facilities. eHang hopes to capture the ecotourism market of Europe and Southeast Asia with its autonomous offering. The design partner, Giancarlo Zema Design Group, is based in Rome. It has been involved in many eco-friendly projects since its founding in 2001 by Giancarlo Zema. Last year, eHang entered into an agreement with the Chinese city of Heizhou in Guangxi province to construct what it called an e-port. The AAV terminal was going to be a three-story facility that would have four pads for takeoffs and landings on the roof. 
A reception hall would occupy the first floor, while the departure and arrival unit would take up the third floor. The second floor would be used for a waiting area. The Heizhou operation is targeted to the tourist hotspots in the region, as many are drawn to the warm temperatures of the hot springs and mountain and lake sceneries. In 2019, Ehang obtained regulatory approval to operate an air taxi business in Guangzhou and has taken steps to set up an air traffic control center. More than a year later, Ehang got official go-ahead on another continent, this time in Quebec, Canada, to fly its Ehang 216 model for operations. A first for AAVs on the entire continent. With the Special Flight Operations Certificate issued by the Transport Canada Civil Aviation TCCA, in hand, Ehang could now carry out periodic trial flights. Later in September, the company exhibited the 216 at the International Civil Aviation Organization's the ICAO, 75th anniversary in Quebec, where it got high praises and shown the potentials of urban air mobility in the country. Ehang would wish it has the market all to itself, but other startups have other ideas. Fellow Chinese company Xipang is also working to put UAMs in the air. The company has the backing of Alibaba. Though still in the development stage, we already have details of the machine Xipang intends to release. It has even showcased a prototype at the Beijing Auto Show last year. It will carry two riders and move at altitudes between 5 and 25 meters. Most importantly, Xipeng is committed to a long-term effort as they see UAMs as the future of mobility. Stepping out of China, Joby Aviation, based in the US, has shown its own electric aircraft in flight. After going public in a reverse merger, the startup is now worth $6.6 .6 billion, with backing from big names like Toyota, Uber, JetBlue, and Intel. Its aircraft will also take off and land vertically using six rotors. It will reach a top speed of 200 miles per hour and travel an impressive 150 miles before needing to recharge. There is seating for four passengers and a pilot. The company wants to begin operation by 2024. Each aircraft will cost $1.3 million in manufacturing. Over in Germany, Volocopter has raised $239 million in funding as it marches towards certification for its autonomous AUM called Volocity in multiple countries. The company believes it is on the path to be the first to actually offer air taxi services with its electric flying machines. Volocopter has completed many demo flights in Helsinki, Stuttgart, and Singapore. There are plans for Japanese operations too. As all the UAM startups race to be the first to the market, one hurdle they all have to face is regulation. Regulatory authorities tend to take a cautious approach which, while understandable due to safety concerns, may dampen or slow down innovation in the space. Pun unintended. We will surely keep an eye on Ehang as we are interested in how soon they can realize their ambition to enter the European space. Do you want to see Ehang's progression? Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for any future updates. Who do you think will win the race to offer UAM services first? Do you think Ehang has it in them? Sound off in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon on New Vehicle Media.